Hi everybody, this is Miss Alfeld, and I am going to show you how you can make some different effects in Flipgrid. Okay, so now you see just the words up in the upper part here, and I have taken away the other parts that I have included, which were the frame and the picture that were in this to kind of change it. So I'm gonna show you a couple different things you can do, like adding a frame, changing your filters, and putting some emojis onto your, um, your flip grid to change the way that you want to present yourself. So one thing you might wanna do when you're doing a flip grid is you might wanna put a frame around your face or your presentation to create a different kind of effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a frame right now. I'm gonna put the same frame that I had on when the video first started. The way that you get the frame is by going down to effects. It looks like a magic wand and it has stars and you just add, you just pick a frame. You can pick any frame. I could have picked this one instead, but I think I'm gonna go with the simple one. And then I just add that on and now I have a frame. Now you also might've noticed that I was moved over to the other side of the picture. And that was because I had added a board. And if I wanna do that, I can just go right back down to effects. It looks like a magic wand. You're not seeing that in this video, but if you look at your Flipgrid screen, you'll see it at the bottom. It looks like a magic wand with a star on it. You click on that and you're gonna look for an icon that says board and it looks like a whiteboard. You just uh, click on that and you'll see some different options. Some look like a um, piece of paper, some look like rainbows, some look like the galaxy. You can um, try them all out. Okay, I'm gonna show them to you now so you can kind of see what they look like. I'm basically clicking on them. But one of the cool things about it is you can actually decide how much Space you want to take up. Ooh, I'm disappearing. How much space do you want your board to take up depending on what you want to present in your flip grid? There's a nice little slider bar that comes up with the boards and it gives you the option of how much space you're going to take up with your um, board. So I've chosen about half the screen and I'm going to put that down and I'm going to take my little words here that I've already written. And I'm going to add a couple more just so you can see how to do that. Uh, I probably won't keep them. But when you want to add words to your um, to your Flipgrid, you have choices of different kinds of text. So you have classic, superpower, neon, typewriter, groovy, sun, party. So if I wanted to put, say, party, I have now clicked on that and you see this little rectangle that's in front of my face. So I'm going to, or maybe you don't see the rectangle. You might not. Um, I'm going to add um, something. I'm going to say, um, uh, hi, everybody. And you can see that. Now, one of the nice things about that is if I want to, I can change the background color. I could make it like, say, blue, or I can make pink, or I can make it any color I want. Okay. And the other thing is, is what if I don't want it there? I could just basically, um, I can make it disappear. But one of the things that you have to do is you have to stop your video. So I'm going to stop the video right here. And when I had the video stopped, what I did was I just deleted the text. So that's one thing you can do. Now, one of the other fun things you can do is you can actually change the way that you look. So you can go over to effects, a little wand, and you can choose um, a filter and you can change the way that you look. So you can make yourself look like this or this. You can be a little green if you're not feeling too good. You can look old fashioned. Um, you can make yourself look like an alien or like a pixel person. You can look like a Lego person. You can kind of look like an old film. There's a couple different ways you can do that. 
kind of like the black and white version. And you can just make your video um, have like a different look to it, the way you want to make yourself look. So that's kind of cool. I've seen that some of you in my class have already found the nice emoji. Um, that's cool. You can put a little emoji on there. I like this little guy here. So I'm gonna put him up here by the flip grid and leave him on there. And last but not least, um, of course, you know, being that I'm your art teacher, I'm always gonna wanna see one of your beautiful works of art. So of course, under effects, it allows you to add a photo. And I am going to go grab a photo. And I've discovered that when you're looking for your photo, you can go ahead and add it, but it's so big and I can't do anything with it. So what I have to do is once again, I have to stop the and what I did while I stopped the recording was I was able to resize the photo so that it would fit into my board and it would look the way I wanted it to look. Now, while I'm recording, I can actually move that around. I just can't change its size. And let me see, do I have any more effects I haven't talked about? Oh, I have one more, which is drawing. Now, I personally don't really like to draw too much on the computer screen, but just so that you can see it, I'm going to just add, I'm going to see if I can add anything. Let's see. And let's see if I can undo that while I'm in here. I think I have to stop the video to undo anything I did. Oh, no, wait. Nope, I can undo it. So if you want to draw, you can. You don't have to. If you feel really good about drawing on a computer screen, you can, but that's my presentation on how to make different effects with your grid. The end.